If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today I'm going to be going over a few things. Title update notes, how to get a free LTD uh, Madden pack. It said it for a limited time. I don't know how true that was. I mean, I'm pretty sure these packs stay there for a while, but you do get one for free. I will show you how to do that and how to link everything to get that all done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going over this, some of the title update notes. Going over this pack. A lot of people are always asking how to get this pack. Where do you go? So I'm going to kind of show you exactly how to handle everything for this pack and kind of go over it and the, the contents of everything as well. See if I can claim it as well. It really depends. I've been having some issues with my computer. As you guys do know, I still don't have my computer. Working off a backup computer right now and nothing synced up. I've been all thrown off everything, but I'm still, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get this done for you guys, but Regardless, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell boys, and join the family. And for today's Puda Squad shout out, we got Seth Harmeyer. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Puda Squad. I greatly appreciate you for coming out each and every day, showing support. And that's about it. If you guys need coins or anything, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage of harvest discounts. But yeah, that's so let's go head over to the pack. And I'll show you guys how to do this and what it is. So it is the Twitch pack, by the way, guys. They did just release a Prime Gaming Pack number two, which does guarantee you some gold, some elites, and some other stuff. So I will show you guys that. You could hit pretty big out of there. Probably could pull an LTD, you know, it's possible. Not not that it's probable, but I'm going to show you guys that because, I mean, it's free. You know, it comes with it if you do a Prime Gaming and everything. So I'll show you guys all that in just a second. Um, this pack usually comes through if you have it all linked up, but you do have to claim it. So make sure you are doing that. It should be pretty instantaneous. But let's go over and show you guys that. Okay, so if you're on the Twitch screen, right? So this is a regular Twitch screen and you guys are signed in. You want to come over here to this crown. It's called Prime Loot. Now, Prime Loot is the stuff that you get for being like a Twitch Prime, uh, Amazon Prime type member. It's just like all the stuff for all these different games, right? It's like Assassin's Creed, Valorant, GTA, Apex, Roblox, and tons of other stuff. So, guys, this applies to multiple games. I don't want to just say it's just for Madden. Mo uh, let's see. Uh, Mobile Legends, Black Friday, World of Warships, uh, Ajari, or whatever. RG.io, however you say that. AGAR, RuneScape. There's so much stuff here. So, make sure you are taking advantage of your Prime Loot if you play any of these games. Tap Baseball. But specifically today, we're going to be focusing on the Madden 21 Prime Gaming Pack number 2 in-game loot november 18th to december 28th so it is limited time you have a, a little over a month to get it done if you don't if you don't activate it you will probably lose it i guess so make sure so you're gonna go here again to the crown you're gonna go down right here twitch prime is now prime gaming so everything's applicable there as well so go down to madden 21 prime gaming pack number two click on learn more when you click on learn more I'm gonna be brought to this page so ea, EA sports madden NFL 21 11 content drops on pc steam playstation xbox Dominate the Gridiron and Madden NFL 21 with Ultimate Team content for Prime members. We got Pack 1, Pack 2, Pack 3, Pack 4, Pack 5, Pack 6, Pack 7, Pack 8, Pack 9, Pack 10, and Pack 11. So this is pretty much going to be every single month. So there was one for last month, there's one for this month, then December, then January, February, March, April. So make sure you check this out every month. So here, activate Prime Gaming. Now, it's going to be one of my Prime stuff, so I'm not going to go over there to show you guys all that information, but you click on it. You pretty much go here. It says activate Prime Gaming. So pack one, which it still says I can get, which I guess if you guys haven't done your first two, you want to get that done. Uh, you got one elite player, two gold players, and then three silver players. So that's not bad. Um, that's not horrible. It's, it's decent. Again, you're getting a free elite player. So you potentially pull the LTD or an Autumn Ace, Autumn All-Star, any of that stuff. Then out of here, Prime Gaming pack number two, you get, it seems like the same exact thing. Now, it's not showing me the info when I click. Oh, there we go. One elite player, two gold players, three silver players. So you can get up to two free elite players potentially another one under that gold and silver slot so not bad go ahead and just get that done super simple to go get done will take you no time at all and then when you click here active prime gaming it'll take you over to amazon or prime gaming whatever you want to call it and you go over there you set everything up you sync it up it's very simple to do guys you don't want to miss out i mean it's 11 free packs right so essentially that's 11 free elites i say anywhere from 11 to like 16 free elites right because you could hit out some of those gold spots or 11 to 20 let's go to 11 to 20 on the highest end of outcomes of people who are getting like two a pack that's not bad, guys, just for being a part of it. Now, a lot of you guys, if you don't know what this is, Prime Gaming, when you guys have that Twitch Prime sub, like, if you have Amazon Prime, all you gotta do is sync it up, right? That's kind of how that works. Twitch Prime is going to entirely just transfer you through. That, that That's the beauty of this, is that if you have Twitch Prime, you already have it, so might as well take advantage of it, because that, that's what it's pretty much going to be. So make sure you guys are checking that out. A lot of people have Twitch Prime, they don't use it. Now, you can use that Twitch Prime sub to go sub to anyone. Like, let's say you watch a big Madden streamer, or like, let's say Ninja, or you watch like Fortnite streamers, Apex, whatever. You can use it on them. You can use it on a Madden streamer. Make sure you're using it though. I mean, it supports them and you have it for free. And then of course, if you have that, that also means you have the gaming. So go ahead and do that. Now, if you happen to have like a student Amazon account, I'm not sure if 
student Amazon accounts activate gaming for you guys. You can check that out. But in general, if you have an Amazon Prime account, might as well take advantage and get some extra added benefits out of it. Because again, if you do pay for it already, you are essentially paying for this too. So make sure you do go ahead and get this. Do I need Prime to be eligible for Madden 21? Yes, try Prime. You can get the free 30-day trial. If you guys really want, you can get the free trial, put your credit card on it, get your free two packs, and then cancel your trial. So you can go ahead to do that. Now you can get, you only get the first two. After that, you won't get any more. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's go over to the uh, title update notes today to finish this video up. All right, guys, so today's Gridiron Nodes Madden NFL Madden NFL 21 title update November. Details of upcoming title update addressing specific uh, stability, stability and usability issues in Madden NFL 21. So to so ensure Madden is the best game possible, yada, 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 whatever, whatever. So key highlights. XP pop-up toggles and franchise gameplay fixes. Okay, it's very tiny, very quick. So tuning to increase usage of AI edge rush animations in certain formations such as nickel 2, 4, 5 odds. So pretty much... It's just increasing AIs, the animations they get in certain formations. So I guess in Nickel 4 5, they weren't getting a lot of uh, pass rush animations based on their stances. So that's cool. I guess that was like a, they're kind of uh, buffing it a little bit versus nerfing. And then here, we got a fixed issue to causing a delay by defenders and man coverage versus RPO bubble routes at snap. Now that's cool because, yeah, some RPOs are kind of glitchy. And people, like, I literally run man, like, I use her and everything. And when they, when they activate that play and they go on that RPO, Everyone just freezes, and they wait pretty much until the guy catches the ball, even once it's thrown, right? In the handoff, I understand the freezing, but once it's in the air, react to it. Like, you know, like, in real life, you see it, you're running at it. That ball can literally wobble in the air for, like, a minute, and I swear to you, my defender's not moving. And then once they move, they run right into the, the guy. There's literally one receiver block. I have two cornerbacks, two receivers. One receiver's catching, so it's one blocker versus two guys. They block my cornerback, and then my cornerback runs into the receiver as well. It lets them get a double block. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully this has helped that a little bit. Now, franchise updates. Uh, disabled on-field XP pop-ups above players' heads slightly during gameplay by default. Now, honestly, I didn't really mind it. They said it. it they said there's a reason here. I'll get, get it to it in a second. But I honestly thought it was fine. Like, it didn't bother me. It was after the play. And it was kind of cool to see, like, oh, okay, like, I got to tackle with Isaiah Simmons. Like, oh, he's developing. Cool. Like, he got 9 XP versus everyone else's 4. Like, you see that they're getting XP per, like, things they do. I honestly kind of like that. I really didn't mind that. Now, based on player feedback, we've turned off XP overhead pop-ups. In franchise gameplay by default, so there would be less clutter appearing on the screen during gameplay. For users who prefer this feature, it can be re-enabled via the drive goals and XP feedback settings in franchise menu. I guess that's decent. And then yard, there's UI, uh, user interface, and stability enhancements. I honestly didn't think these were that necessary. The gameplay, yes, those are good. Those are good things to fix. Uh, personally, the XP toggle is kind of dumb. I, I mean, again, at least they didn't turn it off, right? It's just like you can turn it on or off. Like They didn't just go, go away with it. But, I mean, I didn't think it was that annoying of a thing, so it wasn't really bothering me. But either way, that's, I mean, that's good. I mean, we got some guys more title update stuff. Always good to see the game getting some fixes. And, of course, Franchise. They have showed no love to Franchise. Well, they finally did, right? They added some really cool stuff to Franchise as of recently. I hope they keep up with Franchise updates. Because Franchise, honestly, I'm going to be honest. Franchise might be the best game mode in this game, like, um, in terms of football, right? If you want to play real football, you get in a league of 32 people, like, 32 committed users with a rule book. They follow a trade deadline. And you play it like the real NFL, like, trading in the DMs and stuff. With a trading value chart and everything, I'm telling you guys, it is the real deal. It feels super fun. For, like Ultimate Team is Ultimate Team is its own thing, right? Well, Ultimate Team is virtual. That's meant to be what it is, and it's fun in its own right. But like I said franchise is a great mode, and a lot of people buy this game strictly for franchise. A lot of people have the most fun experiences on that game mode. If you made this game mode more premier, it could really go past a lot of other stuff that they don't realize. But it is what it is. I'm glad they're doing updates. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you need, to, if you want to uh, be shout out the Puda Squad, like the video, turn on the noti bell, comment down below Puda Squad. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Head over to my reserve, pick up some coins. Use code Poodle for 15% off. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.